Hi, it's John from Dyn Spectrum. Here we're going to show you how to unbox and update and then flash your ECU with a DS1. So first, plug in the DS1, go to its Wi-Fi, select connect automatically, put in the password which is on the label, say yes to alert to connect to your network. And then go to 192.168.4.1. There we're in the factory app of the DS1, and now we scan our Wi-Fi networks so that we can connect the DS1 to the internet. Select a green one, which is a strong one, put in our Wi-Fi password. Click connect. And there it's got a green strong Wi-Fi signal and then it's connected to the DS1 server. Now go to update, click update and restart. And you can follow the progress here. It's talking to the DS1 server. It's erasing the OBD app, which is the one that does all the communication with ECU and the flashing. And shortly we'll get a count up here. Once it's erased and it's right in the DS1. This is one of 40 versions that we presently support for Audis, and it brings in all the off-the-shelf maps, all the toys, all the tricks, all the complexity, all the map switching, and all the other things. So here you can see it's counting up. This is a typical response time when you've got a good internet connection and a good connection to Wi-Fi. When this is finished, it will restart into the OBD app with an icon that looks like an OBD port, and then we'll flash the ECU. Usually it counts up to somewhere in the region of about 4,000 or just over kilobytes. It checks everything, and then it restarts, and it reloads the browser. Now in the OBD app, again it's managed to reconnect to the internet and scan the DS1 server. In here you can see the version that you've got, you can see the ECU that you've got, and now we're going to do a full flash, and we're going to choose a stage 2. Yes, we do want to flash. You see it's got some fault codes, but we're just going to say that's okay anyway. Now it's flashing the ECU. On this particular ECU, it's going to go through seven segments, erasing and then flashing each one. Some of them are longer or shorter than others. During this time, the dashboard will show various fault codes and make various complaint noises. Just let it do its thing. If ever you want to see the history of what's happened, you can click Show Hide History here and there'll be a lot of blue text that appears below. So this tells you everything that you selected, all the fault codes that there were, and all the progress that it made. For now, we'll just hide that and wait for this to complete. Many other tools take well over 10 minutes to flash and at this point would cut off their video, but the DS1 thankfully is uh, as fast as the gateway in the ECU will allow it, so a typical flash, full flash, is about three minutes. One of the larger segments here is just going through, which is just over a megabyte. What is useful to note here is that it's not the browser that's doing the flashing or your computer. It's the DS1 itself. The browser is just there to show you what happens. On the DS1 itself, there is an LED that gives you a status of what's going on, and it will be flashing fast whilst things are being flashed. When the DS1 LED is flashing fast, you should not unplug it. And when the DS1 LED is breathing, you can unplug it. If for any reason the DS1 LED flashes slowly, it means that there's been some error and there should be a report on the screen of what that is. So there we're just coming to the end of one of the larger segments and now we're erasing one of the small ones. That flashed by quickly. Now the penultimate segment is erasing.
After this segment, segment 7 is the final one to be flashed, which is the calibration segment where all the tuning data is contained. You'll see that this is a small part of the flash timer. Once you've done this initial full flash, you could choose a cow flash for subsequent flashes, and these take only about 30 seconds. So here we come into segment 7, we're erasing that. And now we're flashing that. When it finishes, it will say flash completed. Ask us to turn off the ignition. Wait 10 seconds. Turn it back on and then we click clear fault codes. That's it. Thank you.